We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. You are going to shout this prayer loud and clear. Say this loud and clear. Say every wickedness prepared against my life. I say scatter by fire. Do you hear the prayer? Libranda rebe be kapara dore be bia paradia brade zelema tele be be kapara dore be bia paradia iroko doro bobo robo boko shande de be be kapaya liban tele me kapala makatilia rege de rebe be ke per be be kapaya rada rada raba baba kasanda bada bara badea ilege de bre be be rebe be kapaya roko doro bobo robo boko sunda bahaya ilege de baraka dara be be kapaya brade iroko doro bobo boko sunda bada bada liban tele be be kapaya I command the Lebron to rather rebe be kapaya. Irregede rebe be rebe be be rebe be kapaya. Irregede rebe be rebe be be rebe be kapaya. Labrada raba ba kaban to raba ba raba ba kapaya. Irregede rebe be rebe be be rebe be kapaya. Irregede brando raba ba kason tahaya. I command it to die by fire. Irregede rebe be kapara. Raba ba raba ba kashande. Irregede rebe be rebe be be rebe be be rebe be ya. Irebe be be rebe be kapaya. Magada raba ba raba ba kaban raba ba kaban do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want you to declare this loud and clear. Hallelujah. Say this loud and clear. Amen. Hear me, hear me, hear me. Hallelujah. Say this loud and clear. Hallelujah. Say this loud and clear. In the name of Jesus. Say, Demons of initiation. Everybody say loud and clear. Say demons of initiation. Assigned against me and my family. Assigned against my neighborhood. I bind you by the blood of Jesus. And I cast you out by fire. Open your mouth and turn that fire. Every demon of initiation assigned against me today, assigned against my children. Raba baba raba kazin da brindaria leke de rebe be rebe be be rebe be kapaya roko do rebe be rebe be be biabrani zade bada bara baba kabanda raba baba rebe be abarania ele brinde rebe mato raman de rebe be kapaya raba baba 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 shande de rebe be abaradim ele bente rebe be kabarando rebe bios raba baba 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 ya jede bre de rebe be abarando rebe bia zade banda la man de I bind you by fire. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Zile bandolo bo rebe bia brando rebe bia baradi. Iga da banda raba ba rebe bega bia bradia. Robo bo robo bo go shende rebe bega baya bradi. Ela bandele be rebe bia baradi. Zade bada raba ba raba ba kamando rebe bia. E raba ba raba ba kamando rebe bia baradia. E raba ba raba ba kamando rebe bia baradi. Ela bandele be rebe be rebe bega baya baran. O rebe be rebe be rebe bega be rebe be rebe bega be rebe bega be rebe bia. E rege de rebe be rebe bega be rebe be rebe bia. E raba ba 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 raba ba ba raba ba rebe bia. E raba ba raba ba kamando rebe bia baradia. Ela bandele be rebe bega be rebe be rebe bia baradi. O rebe bega be rebe be rebe bega be rebe bia. Ala bandele 
Holy Ghost, the name of Jesus, wonderful God, wonderful, glorious God. Libra da Rabba Baba Sante de Bebe Capaya. He wrote a rubber 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 Oh, go ahead and begin to invite. Begin to invite people. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Every wicked agenda. Say this loud and clear. Every wicked agenda. Every satanic agenda. Behind Halloween. Festival. Every wicked agenda behind Halloween festival. Every wicked agenda behind Halloween festival assigned against me and my family. You gotta pray this prayer because man, there are many activities that will happen at school. I mean, if some of you that have kids, if I were you, I will ask your kids to stay at home today. But you, you can't, we can't stop that. So you have to pray today. Amen. Every wicked agenda and every wicked plan of the devil behind Halloween festival. That will be carried out today against me and my family. Today, I destroy you by fire. Let the agenda be scattered. Let the agenda not come to pass. I destroy you by fire. I destabilize the agenda. Open your mouth at thunder fire. Let the evil agenda, the evil plan be scattered. Open your mouth at thunder fire. In the name of Jesus. Rebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
I say scatter by fire. I say scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. You're going to pray this loud and clear. So all my blessings. All my blessings. That has been captured by the power of the, of the night. I take them back by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth at thunder fire. Rabba baba baka shande de bebe kapaya. All my blessings. Le frante le bebe kapara. Rege de rebe beke rebe beke rebe bia. Ilo brodo rebo bo rebo bo ko monto rebe beke kapaya. I the name of Jesus. All my blessings that has been captured by the powers of the night. I take them back by the blood. I rege de rebe beke kapaya. Rogo do rebe beke kapan kili bia. I rege de rebe beke rebe beke kapaya. Rabba baba baka rabba baba rabba baka baya. Ilo brende rebe 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 beke rebe bia. Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Rabba baba baba ya brande re bebio erge de rebebe ke berebebe ke berebebe ke berebebe ya brande ya zada bada 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 ya ele ben telebebe ka pa burondo re bebi abaradi shida bada bada baraka do sanda bahaya ele ben de rebebe ke berebebe ya in jesus name we pray say forces from the waters Say forces from the waters. Assigned against my life and my family. Agenda of the waters. Assigned over the schools today. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Open your mouth, thunder fire. Reggae the rebe be kapara and the rebe Zada bada rebe bara bara kapara and the rebe be. Ele ban de lebre be bia bara di. Reggae the be haya. I say be destroyed by fire. I say be destroyed by fire. Reggae the rebe bara and the rebe be bara di. Ele ban de rebe be kapara rebe be bara di. Raba baba raba baba kapara and the rebe be. Reggae the rebe be rebe be kapara and the rebe be. Ele ban de rebe be rebe be rebe be bara di. Rabba baba rabba baba kabanda rebebia zade bada rabba baba rebebe kabanda ilo do rabba baba rebebe kabarebebe abrandi zade bada rabba baba kabanda ya lebrande rebebe rebebe kabaya rekede rebebe 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 abrandi mo gozun abrandi rebebia be destroyed by fire be destroyed by fire be destroyed by fire rebebe laban telebebe abrandi roko do rabba baba rebebe kabanda in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Say this loud and clear. Louvre Every evil sacrifice. Every evil sacrifice. Carried out during the night. For this Halloween. Be neutralized by the blood of Jesus. Be neutralized by the blood of Jesus. Oh, Rabba Baka Barando Rebebeke Berebebia, Regate Rebebeke Berebebia Baradia, Alabranda Rebebe Rebebeke Berebebia Baradia, be neutralized by the blood, by the blood, Rebebebe Cabanto Rebebia Baradia, Regate Rebebeke Berebebia Baradia, Zadi Bantalaman de Lemeca Baya, Rebebe Rebebeke Berebebia Baradia, be neutralized by the blood, by the blood, by the blood. 
In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. What a God we serve. Hallelujah. Amen. It's an awesome God. I want to just say a few things that today, amen. Hallelujah. You just get ready. Amen. As much as uh, the hour of darkness is has come. Amen. Um, let me meet the phone. In the name of Jesus, glory be to God. Zule vendele ba brondo sabrahayas. Urebe be rebe bi abarandore ba boko shuda bahari. Levante levendele bebe ka baradore bebios. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. Jesus. Ile bele be bi abaradore bebios. Ila mandore ba bore be bore be bi abarandore. Ile be be rebe be nuru nuru daradore bi. Yo rebebe gabram dore bebe ya bara baba ya bradesh zile mandele bebe bebe ya bara dore bebe yo brondo rost hallelujah we give you the praise we give you the glory thank you lord for darling amen my eyes are so soft today amen keep praying for me hallelujah amen ah praise god i'm be going through some serious serious warfare but it is well hallelujah it is well it our soul praise you jesus Amen. What a mighty God. What a glorious God. I want to get ready for what the Lord wants to share with us today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to play some few songs. Sorry, what did you just say? Can you hear me? Sorry, what did you just say? You said you were not well. Or what was it? No, no, no. I said, well, no, no. I said today, today, I'm going through some, uh, some, some, some warfare. Amen. Hallelujah. There's been some warfare, and I need uh, yeah, your prayers in the... Hallelujah, and, and uh, my eyes, my eyes are popping out. So we were praying, we were praying, we were praying for you earlier on. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Praise God. Praise God. I just, you know, so there was a lot of things today. Hallelujah. And um, uh, some, anyways. We explain that later. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's quickly get into the word. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever, whatever happened must happen. Amen. Let's get into the word quickly. And then um, from there, we'll take it from there. Glory be to God. Sole bendele vosura de ibibios. Let me play, play worship and then I go. Hmm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Mm, thank you, Father. Mm, thank you, Father. Kede de bebo samrandi de bebios. Ele bebe be ya barandore bebe ya baradios. Ele baramandore bebe ya barandore bebios. Zele mantele bebe ka barandore bebios. Lord, I worship you, Lord. Lord, I praise your name, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, my father. Praise God. Live on the more Brahmande Rebebe Abaradiyash. Is on the other one, 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 the other Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you the praise and the glory. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. Hmm. What's happening to my audio system? Holy Spirit will bless you in Jesus who give you the praise and the honor and adoration.
Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Brando Rebebega Barando Rebebia Baradis. See Davan de Rebebega Barando Rebebia Barandos. Sadi Ban de Leban de Lebebe Rebebia Barando Rebebios. Rebebebebebebebebia Shunda Badara Bahaya. Lebran de Rebebega Rebebega Berebebia Barando Rebebios. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm going to be reading with you from scripture, Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. Hallelujah. And uh, something very, very unique. Amen. Hallelujah. That the Lord wants to share with us today. Something very, very unique. And uh, um, I believe that uh, it's a word that um, is for this uh, season. Amen. Glory be to God. This is my eyes. God, I command the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hmm. I've noticed very something very very the gates of hell are always trying to Amen. Hallelujah. Jo Joel chapter two. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm in the holy mountain, and let the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord coming. And it is nigh and it is it's at hand. Amen. There is a day of the Lord that the Lord has prepared for us, and it's coming very, very, very quick, sooner than we think. Amen. Sooner than we think. And we need to get ready now. Hallelujah. Glory be to the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. There are a lot of things that are about to take place in our lives. So you guys get ready now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Amen. There is a time, there is a wrath that is about to visit the earth. God is about to, God is not playing, amen. And there is judgment that is that is coming very, very quickly, very, very quickly. Least that we can expect, amen. The power of the Holy Spirit is also available. And God right now is releasing his mercy, sending invitations all over the world, amen. Inviting people to become the bride of Christ. You can be a Christian. The Christian was only mentioned once in the book of Acts, being, being a Christian. Being a Christian was only mentioned once in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Glory to God. Koran de rebe bia brando shada bahaya. Zele bendele bia brando rebe bia. Brando rebe bia kozondorios. Ala bantele bia prado zavadara badia. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Being a Christian, can you can it was only mentioned once in the book of Acts. But what happened in the Bible? Why was he mentioned only once in the in the Bible? Why was he mentioned only once in the Word of God? Hallelujah. It's because, Amen. There's not much emphasis being a Christian. Christian just means Christ followers. It's among the disciples, God, among the disciples, among the 12 of them, God chose about three of them. Amen. Uh, Peter, James, Peter, James, and uh, John. Hallelujah. And Peter, James, and John, amen. Peter, James, and John were the followers of Jesus. Amen. And Jesus revealed deep mysteries to them. These were people um, out of the eight, no responsibilities were given to the eight. Amen. God selected his tree. I um, mean, selected his tree and begin to reveal hidden mysteries to them. Sometimes he will tell them, don't tell anyone till he's gone. Hallelujah. The man transfiguration was not revealed to any of the disciples except of this tree. Amen. Now God is calling us to that lifestyle. That's our life of sacrifice. And Jesus was a loner. He got himself away from everybody. Amen. Many times he would pray with them. Many times he would separate himself. But rarely do we see that he prayed with them. They already said, teach us how to pray. And many times he would pull out himself to, to the deeper chambers in prayer. That doesn't mean that you can't have congregational prayer. Yes, you can. But Jesus he showed us that it was necessary to have a private time, private section with the Holy Spirit. Have a private time with Elohim. Have a private time to pour your heart to Him. Collective prayers are good. Amen. To strengthen the believers. Hallelujah. But Jesus was a master man who always had a private longevity time with, with God. He spent long time with God. He spent a long time with God. Many of us don't have our prayer time anymore. He said maybe we come on a prayer line. You must develop a lifestyle of prayer, a time where you commune with God. Hallelujah. God is willing to communicate with us on an individual basis. Amen. Hallelujah. And if you can be able to pursue your salvation with fear and trembling, if you're able to guard your territory through prayers, hallelujah, you'll become a prayer giant. You'll become a prayer giant. Giants are not made through corporate prayers, but they are made through individual your prayers amen hallelujah the hunger in your heart will lead you into deeper waters with him hallelujah here we see god pronouncing judgment on the earth a day of gloominess verse 2 it says a day of darkness and of gloominess a day of cloud and of thick darkness as the morning spread up in the mountains a great people strong there had not been ever ever the like neither shall there be any more after it even to the day to the years of many generations hallelujah verse 2 i mean god began to express the judgment that is coming amen upon the earth hallelujah and amen hallelujah glory be to the living god in verse 11 it says, it's the verse 10 it says the earth shall quake before them the heavens shall tremble the sun the moon be dark the stars shall withdraw it shining the lord shall utter his voice Amen. Hallelujah. His army and his camp is very great. He's strong. Now, when you read all these things, it's very, very scary. It's very, very scary. And uh, he's talk talking about the elements of the earth. Everything will begin to go against what you, you, you understand, what you, 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 you found from. It will be a terror of the Lord breaking forth in the land. And the Lord shall utter his voice. Hallelujah. Look how it says in verse 12. Therefore also now, says the Lord, Turn ye even unto me with all of your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. You see those three things is very necessary. With mourning, with weeping, and what? With with fasting. So three things that affects the heart, three things that directs you back to God. Fasting, weeping, and mourning. Fasting, weeping, and mourning. People say, Why do you weep? People say you don't have to weep. You don't have, you are joking. Look at what the Bible says. You must weep. You must be a weeper. You must be crying. You must be like Jeremiah. Godly sorrow is needed from God. Godly sorrow is needed for you to break down in God. Hallelujah. You must be a man of sorrow. You must be a man that weeps. Amen. You must be a man that fears God. You must be a man that trembles in your heart. Hallelujah. So when you begin to pray to God and you begin to you you be, you get you become sorrowful in your heart. Amen. Something new, something fresh begins to happen in your life. Hallelujah. This is when God begins to approve of begin to receive your sacrifice. Mourning, weeping, and what? Fasting. Hallelujah. If you must fast, make sure you weep and make sure you mourn. You mourn for your sins, mourn for your iniquities, mourn for the, the sins of your family and of your neighborhood. Hallelujah. When you begin to mourn and you begin to weep, and those things elements are there. So ask somebody. When last did you shed tears? Six months ago. Listen to me. Your prayers, your prayers is 
not having a pure effect before heaven. For you to have a pure effect, you must have those three things. Fasting, weeping, and mourning. Hallelujah. Glory be to the living God. If you must fast, you must weep. If you must weep, you must mourn. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I know I'm talking to fast. Am I talking to fast? Glory to God. Hmm. Praise God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he now says in verse 13, he says, Rend your heart and not your garments. Turn unto the Lord your God. He is gracious, merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness. Repent him of the evil. Hallelujah. It's time for us in our cities to really repent. God is looking for men who can really repent. God is looking for strategic men who can cry out before the Lord, who can lay before the face of the Lord and say, Lord, I am sorry for whatever my husband did, whatever my children did, whatever I did. I am sorry. Forgive me for my iniquities. Forgive me for the shortcomings, for the mistakes I have done. Oh God, forgive me, Lord. What is it I have done? Oh God, I have grieved your presence. Father, forgive me. Father, forgive me. Lord, any sin that will make me not to receive from you any sin that will make you to be upset with me any sin that will make me not to be connected with you lord have mercy upon me so you are searching out what is offending god you are searching out that offense that stands between you and god and as you begin to do that you will be you will see that for every repentance that you get from the Lord, every repentance you offer to the Lord, you are you receive an offering uh, from the Lord. The, his blood, His blood comes upon you for every repentance that you do. Amen. Hallelujah. When you begin to repent, the blood of Jesus appears in your home, appears in your family, appears in your children. Hallelujah. Even today, great repentance needs to be made. Great repentance needs to be made, whether they sin or not. The Bible says Job was one of the earliest Bibles. Job was one of the earliest man on the earth, and this same man, Amen. The Bible says he repented for his family offer sacrifice every day he had so many ships so many animals and he began to he will always kill a slaughter an animal a sacrifice for his children for his children on behalf of his children hallelujah i don't know what we are doing nowadays we repent for ourselves we don't repent for our children we repent for our lives but we don't repent for our husband Amen. No, 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 no. We need to repent for everybody. Hallelujah. Just by you only, by you be repenting. I realize that God can forsake people based on their sins. God can forsake people based on their will, their willpower. And they can respond and say, you know what? I don't want to follow the Lord. Let me, I want to go down the path. Do you know that Jonah, if he had an intercessor, Jonah, somebody can intercede for Jonah and says, you know, Lord, I repent for Jonah. Whatever sin he has committed by disobeying you as a prophet, Lord, forgive him. And you know God will pardon him based on you repenting for Jonah? God is just searching for intercessors. That's how powerful intercessors is. When you begin to stand in the gap and you begin to repent, oh my goodness, it's, it's, you repent with weeping, mourning. Listen to me. That's how you heal the sick. Somebody comes to you, they say, they're they going through some serious pain. They say, man of God, I need you to pray for me. The first thing you will understand, you evaluate their work with God. Amen. And when you see this heavy sin in their life, Hallelujah. You go before the Lord and you begin to repent for their behalf. Once God forgives them, God is able to heal them. Period. Hallelujah. Sometimes God just heals with his mercy. Rend your heart, not your garments. You see that was what this Bible is trying to say. Many people will wear the clothing, the physical clothing, and we dress up in repentance. We dress up trying to abase ourselves. God is saying it's not that doesn't matter. It's your heart that matters. Your heart. What is the intent of your heart? Hallelujah. If you can rent your heart, if you can break your heart, if you can make your if you can have godly sorrow in your heart, hallelujah. Then your prayers will be acceptable unto me. Hallelujah. And turn unto the Lord your God. He's gracious, is merciful, and is slow to anger, of great kindness, repentant to him of the evil. Hallelujah. Um, they look at what it says in verse 14. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him? Even a meat offering, a drink offering unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, one of the, I tell you something. The best, you can never go wrong in the place of repentance. And repentance is not so much emphasized in the body of Christ. But a man that chooses to spend time in repentance, not asking God for so many things, a man that chooses to spend time in repentance feels more of God's presence than every, every, every other. If a man can spend time in repenting before worship, you will feel the glory of God upon your life on a daily basis. The reason why we don't feel God's presence is because we rush into our activities. We don't even spend time repenting. We say, Lord, I'm sorry, Lord, forgive me, Lord, Father, and we just rush out of the prayers, do other things, and ask our requests, and go to work, and just wherever. No, repentance is of necessity. Amen. We need to spend the time. I'm coming to New York. I'm coming to New York to go minister. 
um, from the 10th of August, um, um, November uh, to the 12th. And then, hallelujah, a week from now, two weeks from now, it's going to be very brutal. Hallelujah. And the Lord has been preparing me. Now, me just coming to New York is not going to be a fun fair. <laughs> it's going to be a time of abasement between me and God. It's going to be a time of communion. It's going to be a time of major repentance um, um, uh, for myself, for the people there, uh, for the for the city of uh, New York. Uh, to make to to release the grace and the mercies of God over that city, you need a major repentance. Hallelujah! You need somebody that will stand in the gap and bend your knees and say, "My Father, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us." Hallelujah! And so, when you begin to do that, you will see that what was everyone that has, was walking in wickedness, all of a sudden, is attracting the mercies of God. All of a sudden, they feel God's presence, and they're wondering, "Why am I feeling these? I thought God had abandoned me." God now is coming back now because why? Somebody has interceded. Somebody has repented for them. So God is no more looking at them based on their sins. He's looking at them based on the mercies of the intercession of somebody else. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at what it says. Now it says, Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sanctify a fast. Call a solemn assembly. Now God is saying this to his prophets. There's judgment coming. But to avert it, to redeem yourself, he says, Sanctify a fast. Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, as, and gather the children. Assemble the elders, gather the children, those that suck the breast, let the bridegroom go forth. Of his chamber, the bride out of his heart closet. They say, Let all the priests and the ministers of the Lord, let all the priests and the ministers of the Lord weep. That's one of the things I have a problem with. If you're a minister, you don't weep. I have a problem with you. Say weep between the porch and the altar. Who told you that weeping is only for women? Who told you that weeping is only for children? No, you must tears must come out from your eyes for the Lord, not for people. Not because you are publicized all over the newspaper or publicized all over the television. Not besides because you are criticized. No. Not because you are going through your wilderness. No. You shed tears for the love you have for God. You shed tears because you are talking to God. You shed tears because you are. You are passionate for what you are demanding from the Lord. You shed tears because you want mercy from God. You shed tears because you are repenting from the Lord. Hallelujah. You don't shed tears because you are just want to force it out. No. You go deep in your prayers till tears has a language. Till tears begin to commune with God, saying, Give it to my son. We, are, we need it. We need it. We need it. We bend our knees. Let the priest, the ministers, these are leaders. I love that word. Let the priests, let the ministers. I love that word. He didn't say where the, let's the, where the apostles, where the, 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 the prophets. Uh, we are at the. Uh, he didn't say oh let the, let the let the prophets, let the apostles, let the uh, 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 pastors, let the evangelists, let the teachers. He just says let the priests, the ministers, the priests, the ministers. Beloved, if you're an apostle, you're a priest. If you're a teacher, you're a priest. You're a minister. Those two things. I love that name, priest. Weep between the pouch and the altar. Let them say, spare thy people. O Lord, give not thy inheritance, heritage to reproach, that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, where is their God? They began to repent. Then we, the Lord, be jealous for his hand and pity the people. You see that? When you begin to repent, God himself will become jealous for his people. He will now come down. Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine, and you shall be satisfied. And I will no more make you a reproach among the nations. What, what was once a reproach, God rolls it away now. Because a man has found a place of repentance. A man has stood in the gap of his people, asking God, Lord, spare thy people. That's what great intercession does. When you begin to repent, Lord, spare this, spare that. He begins to spare your children. He begins to spare your husband from that impending judgment. God begins to restore finances, restore the blessings of God, even upon your life. God begins to release, remove. Look at what it says. And he, begin, he, even, he even goes as far as removing the warfare. Verse 20. And I will remove far off from you the northern army. Uh, and will drive him into a land barren and desolate. And his face towards the east sea. And his hinder part towards the outer, utmost sea. And his thing shall come up 
and his savour shall come up because he had done great things. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice for the Lord had done great things. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, you see what repentance does? Repentance, God is showing us the key. That if we begin to bow ourselves before the altar, something huge, something massive will break forth in the land. Hallelujah. And look at what it says. It says, Be glad then, ye children of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord your God, for he had given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former and the latter rain in the first month. The floors shall be full of what? Vats shall overflow with wine and oil. This is caused by the priest humbling themselves and repenting before God. Hallelujah. Repenting before God. And look at what again. See what repentance does. It said, After you have done serious repentance, if my people are called by my name, we will humble themselves and pray. Then will I hear from heaven and heal the land. Heal the land. Heal the land. That's what they call restoration. He says, What? Verse 25. And I will restore unto you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, and the great army which I sent among you. And he shall be satisfied in plenty and be he caparable so yours. Ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. I prophesy upon you that in this season, in this season, there's going to be a great substance of restoration being released upon you, you and your family. You're going to be a partaker of all that the Lord has prepared for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that by the power and the blood that God will begin to restore everything that has lost, everything that has was taken from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And he shall be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God and had dwelt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. God will wipe away every shame in your life. God will wipe away every reproach in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Every catastrophe, every delay, every obstacle that the enemy has placed over your life, God will take it out in the name of Jesus. I say God will take it out by the power in the Holy Ghost. And my people shall never be ashamed. Every form of shame in your life is being wiped away in the name of Jesus Christ. And it shall come to pass that afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon our flesh. In the beginning of the chapter, we saw the rage of God, the day of the Lord coming. But during the fasting, he's saying that, Lord, if you begin to weep, if you begin to mourn, if you begin to fast, it says now, it says what? And afterward, I will pour my spirit upon our flesh. The sons and daughters shall prophesy. All this is coming as a result of what? Fasting. As a result of what? Repentance. Hallelujah. Amen. And also upon the this, this servants and upon the handmaid in those days, I will pour out my spirit. I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood, fire, and pillars of, of smoke. And the sun shall be turned into that. Listen to me. God is beginning to say, this is, and if I tell you too, and it shall come to pass that whatsoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, Amen. Shall be delivered as the Lord has said in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Amen. There is great deliverance that is coming. Great deliverance that is coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to the living God. God is saying now, he's saying in the in book of Joel, um, jo, Joel chapter 2, Joel chapter 2, God was releasing judgment on the earth, pending judgment. But he's beginning to say, Lord, if my priest, if my ministers could come and they humble themselves and begin to pray, ha, God begin to say, This is the things that will happen. God begin to send forth restoration. God begin to say, you will eat in plenty, verse 26, and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord that had done wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. My people shall never be ashamed. And this is the promise that God is releasing upon the earth. My people shall never be ashamed. Listen to me. When, when, when there's a restoration coming, he will send forth the former rain. What does the former rain mean? It means that when the, the blessing that was due for you, what was held back, the rain that was supposed to come, the rain of harvest that God has promised you and was held back by the enemy. He says, now I will send forth the former rain. I will send forth even the latter rain. And there's going to be a combination. So it means that what I promised you and what I was promised over you in the time past, that there's going to be a combination. So when it comes this season, you will not want to get one single child. You will get wins you will get wins you will get wins hallelujah so what was held back in your life god will release it double double amen hallelujah double 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 for harvest everything is double why because now you're going to see what it calls sporadic speed 
there's going to be a sporadic speed, a sporadic, sporadic enhancement. I prophesy upon you, whatsoever was lost, whatsoever was captured, whatsoever was destroyed, either through storm or through the enemy, whatever was stolen, I decree that there's a payback. There's a day of payback coming into your life and you're going to receive this reward by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I decree that by the power in the blood. I don't know if you are receiving these prayers today. I say in the name of Jesus, every blessing that you have lost, I decree a restoration by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Sadi bada bado. Somebody shout amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to the living God. And my people shall never be ashamed again. This is the word of prophecy. My people shall never be ashamed again. I decree and I prophesy every spirit of shame that has eroded you, every spirit of shame that has followed you, by the power in the blood of Jesus, we wipe it off from your life. We wipe it off from your life by the power in the Holy Ghost. I decree that in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree the strength of God upon you. I decree the favor of God upon you. I decree that from today, everything will begin to yield is increase and yield fruits. Amen. If you must repent, repent in mourning, you repent in weeping, amen, repent in fasting. Hallelujah. And you will see the reward of the Lord. You will see the blessings of the Lord upon your, uh, your the blessings of the Lord upon your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody receive this word. Today, you are blessed. Hallelujah. You are blessed. I want to thank God for everyone that had the opportunity to dial in today. Hallelujah. We uh, we were just concluding our time with God. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, share this word. There's been an intense warfare. Amen. Listen to me. All you can do, you can all you can do is during Halloween season, it's best for you to keep your kids at home. If I were you. During Halloween season in the school, I will expect you to just keep your kids at home. But it's too late now if you let your kids go to school, which is all right. The next thing I will ask you to do is, um, 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 uh, while they are in school, you're asking God, Lord, protect my kids. Because you are the parents. You are the God of your children. You are the God of your seed. You speak what you want. What you don't say, the spirits can enter your seed and influence your seed against you. Uh, there's a spirit of rebellion that has been released in this hour. But when you lay hands on your belly as a mother, you lay hands on your, body, your belly and you begin to make the decrees. You see, mothers don't know the power that they have. Mothers don't know the powers that they have. Witches know the powers that they have. So, any witch have mother who want to curse their mother parents. I remember the a, 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 a children who were trying to who, who were so busy in school and busy with working and they were I, I begin to make money and everything, and they forgot to contact their mother for close to five years. This mother got so upset. She came out. She was naked at night, uh, full moon. She lifted up her two breasts to the heavens and began to curse her kids. Amen. It didn't take up to a week. All four kids were deported back to Nigeria. Hallelujah. Back to the country. Why? Because she spoke. Amen. Unto her children. She spoke to unto her seed. You as a mother can lift up your lay hands on your belly and say, All my seed in this season, I command it to prosper. You, my seed from my loins, I speak to you in the name of Jesus. You will not be held back by the powers of darkness. I speak as a mother and I speak as a prophet. I decree that my seed will receive divine favor, will receive divine speed. In this season, ye shall prosper. I speak to my seed that you will not be hindered, you will not be cut short, you will not be limited. Hallelujah. When you begin to pray and you prophesy, I believe this is one of the prayers that Jacob prayed. Let my seed, my seed, because the mother gave Joseph a different name and Jacob changed the name. He says, no, everything was wrong. Now I'm correcting the seed. But this seed, Joseph began to bring great prosperity. You must prophesy it. You must prophesy it. My seed will not be cut short. My seed will not be hindered. My seed will not be manipulated. My seed will not be influenced by the devil. This my seed is a seed, is a heritage of the Lord. You don't need to lay hands on your daughter. That little daughter that is possessed, just lay hands on your seed. Out of your belly shall flow the rivers of living water. And prophesy upon your belly. Prophesy upon that seed that stayed in your belly for nine months. Decree that by the power of the blood. And you see the Holy Ghost will declare your daughter most wanted. Will declare that most wanted. Amen. The influences of your daughter. Hallelujah. When you begin to prophesy this, listen to me. You have been, have, you have been, you have been speaking to me, asking me several questions. This is the answer God is giving to you now. Lay hands on your belly and speak. The, the seed that drank my milk. 
the seed that sucked my breast, the seed that sucked milk from me. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy upon you by the power in the Holy Ghost. I say, you, this seed, you must hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I crush the spirit of rebellion that has overshadowed you, that is influencing you. I break the power of the rebellion. Lord, have mercy upon this, my seed. I bring my seed before you. Whatever sins they've done, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And you begin to repent. Go into deep repentance. Hallelujah. And you will see the Lord begin to show great mercy, great compassion, even upon you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. What an awesome moment. Hallelujah. Amen. You must understand that Psalm 91 is needed to declare protection over your family. Psalm 91, you're speaking the protection, the bloodline over your family, that they abide in the secret place, that they dwell in your place. That no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against thee, the day of judgment thou shalt condemn. Asking the Lord, Lord, let them be preserved from danger. Let them be preserved from warfare. Let them be preserved from witchcraft. Let them be preserved from demonic activities by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Are you blessed today? Are you blessed? Let his favor be upon you. Let his grace in, 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 be over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, one more time before we go, let's ask the Lord, Lord, protect me and my family. Secure me by the blood. Hello. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is asking? Who is asking that? Who is asking about the crusade? If it will be broadcasted live. Mm. Are you asking? Okay. Hallelujah. I believe so. I believe so. I believe so. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Libra mando rabebe abando de bebe kapaya zele bantele bebe kabarando de bebios. Well, let's begin to ask the Lord protect me and my family today from every strange spirit, strange influences, from every food pollution. Father, let your blood be upon me now. Protect me, O God, and my family from danger, from the activities of the devil. Lay your hands and I begin to pray now. Lord, I begin to pray that the blood of Jesus will overshadow my life and my family right now from every form of danger, from every activities of the wicked. Let your blood wash over me. Let your blood wash over me. Wash over me. I ask, Lord, I hide in that secret place. Oh, protect me from danger. Protect me from every form of the enemy accusations, Lord. Protect me, O oh God, from the wiles of the devil. Protect me, O oh God, from the plans of the wicked. Oh, Father, secure my portion by your power and your blood. Lord, I decree that my family be protected in your blood, in your blood, in your blood. Let your blood overshadow us now. Father, I ask for your blood, your blood to protect. Protect me by your blood. Secure me by your blood. Oh, Jehovah, overshadow me with your blood. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I bless you, name Jesus. I bless you, name. I bless you, name. I bless you, name. I bless you, name. Lord, I pray everyone that is watching me that is under attack with seizure. Lord, let them be liberated now by the power in the Holy Ghost. I bind that spirit of seizure. I bind that operations of seizure that comes to you at night. I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy that spirit by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Right now, lose that fellow, lose that fellow, lose that fellow. By the power of the blood, you strange headache over the life of that sister. I break your power in the name of Jesus Christ. I break your power by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. You spirit of headache, you spirit of oppression over the life of your daughter. I break that oppression now by the power in the Holy Ghost. Lose them, lose that fellow in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You manifestations of darkness over that, 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 that daughter of mine. I break your power in the name of Jesus. Let her be loose. Let her be free. You demonic oppression over the eyes. I destroy your power. I destroy your power. Let the fire of God enter. Enter your eyes now. In the, in the name of Jesus, I speak healing upon you. In Jesus' name, upon your eye vessels. Karo para Let the evil agenda be destroyed by the power of the blood. Hallelujah. Anybody else? Anybody else? 
Hallelujah. Glory be to the living God. Thank you for a fresh fire. Thank you for a fresh anointing. In Jesus' name. Eleven telebo saya bahaya. Idi dia parando rebebe marandosh. So de vende rebebe paradigas. Hallelujah. Blessings to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are you blessed today? Are you blessed today? Hallelujah. Any quick question before we go? Any quick question before we go? Lebre de lebo sire. How many? How many people have any? Any quick? You need an instruction quickly. What is it? Quick, quick, inst quick instruction is this: If you have been for that brother who have been facing serious conflict at work, Amen. You take an you take anointing oil. You take anointing oil. You go to the restroom, and you pour anointing oil on the ground, and you will decree that this ground will be favorable to me. Everyone that dwells in this ground, and all my co-employees, my co-employers, will be favorable to me. This ground shall not be hostile to me. In the name of Jesus, I declare the peace of God upon this ground. Are you hearing me? You pour oil in the restroom. This ground shall be favorable, shall be honorable, shall be peaceful to me in the name of Jesus. All hostile spirits are hereby banished by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I receive unusual favor in the name of As I stand on this ground, I'm established in this ground. And I'm unmovable by the powers of darkness in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name, Manasa. Yes. Manasa. It's not a part of my, 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 my
Somebody else was saying something quickly before we go. Hallelujah. Speak quickly before we go. Quickly. Speak quickly. Praise God. Now, I want to explain to you also too, you know, one of the things you must understand, the prayer line works in a different way. And so, um, when you be, when you get on the prayer line, there's some things that happen. God bless you, Penny. There are some things that happen on the prayer line. You know, when you, you every expression that you do, while the man of God is communicating, uh, sometimes people cannot hear you. So every time when the man of God says a prayer point, make sure you repeat accordingly so that other people who are not able to hear even the man of God can be able to understand what the man of God has said based on what you said. And if you say anything otherwise than what the man of God said, they will think that that is a prayer point. Amen. So you want to make sure that whatever you are saying with the consciousness that other people are hearing you. Hallelujah. There are many people, people that are muting their phone. Hallelujah. So when you say some things, make sure that it's very, very accurate based on what the man of God is saying. Amen. Hallelujah. We're believing God for much more clarity. Amen. Clarity of my voice, speech, so that you can be able to understand what is being said. Amen. Thank you for your patience. Hallelujah. I may understand also too that when a man of God is saying some things and you're carrying on and you're praying, uh, people may not be able to understand what I'm saying because you know you are praying loud. Hallelujah! So just be be conscious of that. Understand that also too. Amen. Uh, you will not know that until you listen to the recording. Amen. When you listen to the recording, then you understand what I'm saying. Hallelujah! Praise God! Praise God! Praise God! Praise God. Sorry, sorry, man of God. It's okay. It's okay. Hallelujah. Anybody else? Amen. All right. We've got to go now. The Lord, well, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord guide you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. I decree shalom. I ask that, Father, that the favor of God will be upon you. We got, we got how many days left? We have just five days left to finish our fast. Five days left. And I decree that the month of November be a prosperous and yielding and increasing month for you. You will never lack again. I decree that it shall be a supernatural month of supernatural restoration by the power in the holy ghost may god restore everything that you have lost i decree favor upon you on every side i decree favor upon you in the name of jesus christ i bless you penny i decree that may you increase like never before if you are seeing lack may you increase you will not be a penny but you you will multiply in jesus name hallelujah hallelujah amen amen hallelujah you are blessed you are blessed you are blessed well amen. i want you to go and enjoy your day amen god bless you god bless you love you ah. <laughs> amen you say what oh let's share the grace the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of